Imagine this, just a few years ago, people in many parts of India were struggling to even get a 2G network. Videos would take forever to load and sometimes even sending a message was tough. But today, the story has completely changed. Almost every district in India has 5G, the fastest mobile network, connecting even the remotest corners of our country. So hello and welcome. You're watching Next IS English. Today we are going to talk about this incredible digital journey and the inauguration of India Mobile Congress 2025. So let's get started. Prime Minister Narendra Modi addressed the India Mobile Congress 2025 in New Delhi. It's one of the biggest technology events in all of Asia, a place where innovation, ideas and technology come together under one roof. Now let's take a moment to understand what exactly is the India Mobile Congress or IMC. The India Mobile Congress is an annual event organized by the Department of Telecommunications DOT and the Cellular Operators Association of India COAI. It brings together the biggest names of telecom, media and technology from global tech leaders and policy makers to startups and researchers. Think of it as India's own version of a tech world fair where the latest inventions and futuristic ideas are showcased. At IMC, people explore things like 5G and 6G networks, artificial intelligence, quantum communication, cyber security, smart mobility and semiconductors, of course. Basically, all the technologies that will shape our future. This year's theme was Innovate to Transform highlighting how innovation can help make the world better. The 2025 edition was huge, more than 1.5 lakh visitors, 7,000 global delegates, 400 plus companies and 800 speakers from all over 150 countries participated. Delegations even came from countries like Japan, the UK, Canada, Russia and Austria. So yes, IMC 2025 wasn't just an Indian event, it was a global one, showing how far India has come in the tech world. The Prime Minister began his speech by welcoming everyone, from scientists and researchers to young startup founders and industry experts. He said it was heartening to see so many young minds working on crucial subjects like fraud prevention, quantum communication, 6G and semiconductors. He said these bright young innovators are proof that India's technological future is in safe hands. Prime Minister Modi pointed out that the India Mobile Congress is no longer just about mobile phones or telecom networks. It has now become Asia's largest digital technology platform, symbolizing India's growing digital strength and confidence. He said that the success of the telecom sector clearly shows the power of Atmanirbhar Bharat or a self-reliant India. There was a time when people laughed at the idea of making in India. They thought India could never create advanced products or lead in high-end technology. But today, that doubt has been wiped out completely. He proudly said that the country which once struggled with 2G now enjoys 5G in nearly every district. And he backed this up with stunning numbers. Electronics production has increased six times since 2014. Mobile manufacturing has gone up 28 times. The mobile exports have increased 127 times. This massive growth has also created millions of jobs. Prime Minister Modi shared that one major smartphone company now works with 45 individuals. Indian suppliers, which alone has created about 3.5 lakh direct jobs. And if you add the indirect jobs, the number is much, much higher. He then talked about one of India's proudest achievements, the Made in India 4G stack. This means India has built its own complete 4G technology system from scratch, software, hardware and network setup, everything. Because of this, India has joined an elite group of just five countries in the world that can do this independently. He explained that this is not just a technical achievement, but a symbol of confidence and independence. It means India no longer has to rely on other countries for telecom technology. He also revealed that on the day of its launch, 1 lakh 4G towers were activated at the same time, giving internet access to 2 crore new people. 
many of them living in remote or hilly areas. Even better, this 4G stack is export ready, meaning India can now help other countries build their networks too. Prime Minister Modi said this will play a big role in achieving the India's 6G vision 2030, which aims to make India a world leader in next generation connectivity. The Prime Minister also mentioned how India needed new rules to match its modern digital growth. He highlighted the new Telecommunications Act, which replaces very old British era laws from more than a century ago. This new law is designed to make things simpler, faster approvals, easier permissions and smoother business operations. He said this new law acts like a facilitator, helping companies innovate and grow instead of slowing them down with red tape. Then he spoke about cyber security, saying that the government has made laws stronger, improved systems to report cyber fraud and made companies more accountable. This helps both businesses as well as consumers to feel safer online. Prime Minister Modi proudly shared that India now has world's second largest telecom market and the second largest 5G market. But what truly makes India special, he said, is our manpower, mobility and mindset. India's youth are not only skilled but also creative and confident. In fact, India now has the fastest growing community of developers, the people who build softwares, apps and digital tools. He also gave an interesting comparison. The cost of 1 GB of data in India is now less than the price of a cup of tea. That's why India ranks among the top countries in the world for internet data usage. He said digital connectivity is no longer a luxury. It's now a basic part of everyday life of every Indian. Finally, Prime Minister Modi gave a very powerful message. This is the best time to invest innovate and make in India. He encouraged global companies and startups to come to India, build in India and grow with India. He said the combination of the speed of startups and the scale of big companies will drive India's next wave of progress. He ended by saying that wherever the world faces a technological challenge in telecom, electronics or semiconductors, India has the power to provide solutions. In simple words, India Mobile Congress 2025 wasn't just a tech event, it was a loud and clear message to the world world that India is ready to lead the digital future with innovation, self-reliance and the energy of its youth. And that's it for today. I'll see you in another deep dive video. Until then, bye-bye. Take care.